Solar, wind, water and biogas from animal waste. These resources are key components for producing renewable energy in Sumba, a poor island in central Indonesia. Close to 700,000 people, most subsistence farmers, live in the about 350 villages scattered around an 11,000 square kilometers large hilly island. Few have access to electricity. The Sumba Iconic Island program aims to achieve 100% renewable energy and 95% electrification rate by 2025. Renewable energy is the best and most cost-effective solution for people on remote islands such as Sumba. So says Eko Matzer of the international NGO HIFOS, which together with the Asian Development Bank are implementing organizations in this ambitious undertaking. Norway is funding and enthusiastically supporting the project. Renewable energy based on the sun, wind, rivers and animal dung changes things now. Darkness no longer stop children from studying, farmers from repairing their tools, weaving cloth or making articles for use or sale, villagers from meeting and so on. With electricity, schools can use computers and photocopiers, fields can be irrigated to increase crops, small organizations can function better. Access to energy increases quality of life, as we will see in this documentary. The reason for renewable energy is that renewable energy is available here. There is wind, there is water, there is a, a biomass for biogas production, and you can source it locally, and you don't need to bring fossil fuels from far away. So it's cheaper and easier, and people can control them, them by themselves. Uh, we have uh, already uh, installed uh, hydro installations, uh, solar plants uh, for irrigation, for example, uh, and biogas. Uh, but the idea is to do the whole island by 100% renewable energy. And that's, of course, something we don't want to do alone. We need a lot of partners for that. We need other people to, to join. So therefore, the Sumba Iconic Island Initiative is really a multi-stakeholder process where we work with the different government layers, the private sector, the NGOs, all together uh, to achieve this uh, uh, ambitious target. And we were very happy when we started working here that the Indonesian government was very supportive and very uh, much supporting uh, the idea. Uh, and since then we have had uh, many meetings with the uh, different governments and different uh, uh, communities and the private sector to make an integral plan to, uh, to power whole Sumba with, iconic, uh, with uh, renewable energy. Uh, now I'm here with uh, Bapa Christian, he's operator for a micro hydro power plant uh, with capacity 37 kilowatt and to power it and electrify 256 household uh, for uh, Kamangi village. Uh, ini operasi setiap uh, hari? Yeah, setiap hari. This micro hydro power plant established since 2011 and uh, now they have cooperative with uh, PLN and the energy they sell to the PLN so the PLN uh, manage about the power. Now the cooperative they have uh, income from the energy they sell to the PLN. The, the PLN buy per KWH kilowatt hours about 475 rupiah per KWH and total production KWH per month from this uh, micro hydro power plant about uh, six to seven thousand KWH per month. That's mean uh, the cooperative uh, will be or get income from that energy about uh, uh, five to six million per month. This system is 
operate depend on the volume of water. Uh, during rainy season, they operate for 20 hours a day, but during dry season, they have a little bit problem because the volume of the water is decreased. They only operate uh, 15 hours per day. Memang pertama sebelum ada listrik, kami hanya pakai pelita. After they get uh, electricity, now they use the energy in the night, of course, for the light. So their kids also a uh, little bit better. They also optimum for studying. And the father and mother, the, in the night also, they having discussion, little bit a program, uh, farming, uh, and other things. And they also able to do some activities in the night, uh, uh, making uh, mad, and also uh, for the father also, they do some uh, uh, furniture. Kami sangat berterima kasih dengan uh, bantuan dari Hipos. Pak untuk... Christian also uh, express and uh, say thank you to Hipos for the support. If the cooperative still maintain this system, this is able to give more benefit in the future. And this is example, uh, the system, uh, which is, if this operate for longer time, this is also able to replicate for the other places. And of course, uh, more people can get benefit from the uh, micro hydro power plant on Sumba. Sekali lagi, terima kasih. Ya, sama-sama. Okay. And what we see now is that there are uh, quite different uh, initiatives uh, going from small biogas installations in one household to uh, big uh, windmills, wind turbines uh, paid by the uh, government together with the private sector. And this whole range of different uh, technologies and different finance mechanisms is needed to uh, provide the whole island with renewable energy. My name is uh, George Manu. I'm a provincial uh, coordinator for Bureau program, a biogas for household uh, energy uh, need. Um, actually, uh, the program has been implemented since uh, 2011, and then it targets uh, 50 biogas system installed at household level, and it has been supported by uh, Norwegian Embassy, and the implementation is under partnership with uh, KIFOS and uh, Foundation of Ruma Energy and some local partners uh, in uh, Sumba Islands. We get the manure from uh, animals and it will be fermented in a digester, digester uh, system. And then the gas produced uh, from the digester will be delivered uh, to a uh, kitchen for any cooking or any other uh, energy uh, needs. And the remnants which come out from the fermentation process will be used as organic fertilizer for any farming uh, activity. Right now, what we have is, uh, we have manure from uh, pigs. With me, one of uh, the users of uh, Biogas System, uh, Martin Manolobo. I have just started uh, the Biogas System one month ago, and it has uh, produced uh, liquid uh, uh, fertilizer and the fertilizer has been used, as we can see here, that it has been weighted all around, and it has been used for his corn. Here is uh, Pari, the implementing partner for uh, this construction, and also one of the carpenter, who is, dengan Bapak siapa? Apner. Uh, pa Apner. Biogas di Sumba tidak sekedar berfungsi untuk menghasilkan energi, the biogas uh, system introduced in Sumba Island is not meant only for uh, securing the energy needs at household level, but also to boost uh, the economic uh, 
uh, benefits of uh, the family who interested in building uh, biogas by using the remnants or the bio slurry uh, to fertilize uh, their uh, uh, farming uh, activities or the plantation. That's why it is uh, preferred or many people like to build a biogas uh, system. Karena teknologi biogas ini masih baru. In terms of uh, constraints, it is a new technology, so not many people <coughs> know about it and then they are worried about uh, the implementation. It might work, it might not work. But and then he started uh, building some models in some uh, uh, groups of uh, people and then when the implementation of the model works and people like it and then they also see, the neighbor also see that uh, the uses of uh, the organic fertilizer coming out from the biogasism also boosts their production of uh, their uh, um, farming uh, lands. So they like to uh, build also in their uh, houses as well. Sudah berapa yang dikerjakan, Pak? Sudah 50 ya. How many uh, uh, biogas system that he has been built uh, so far? And he said that it has been uh, 50 units, uh, including those that are funded by or supported by Norwegian uh, Embassy. And then he said in terms of uh, contribution or participation of community to help him in finishing uh, these co constructions, he said that uh, lots of people are eager to support. With me, uh, Ibu Christina, one of the users of uh, biogas, and uh, she has been using uh, this uh, biogas uh, since one month uh, ago. Gasnya lancar, apinya juga baik dan kita puas kita pakai. Ya karena dari apa dari gasnya lancar. She is uh, satisfied with uh, the biogas uh, use in uh, the kitchen, and then she has been uh, using it since uh, one uh, month ago. And in terms of uh, heat, he said that uh, the cooking is uh, well done because the heating is, is, is perfect. And uh, also, <clears throat> he has replaced the use of uh, kerosene and also uh, charcoal. So it would also help also decreasing uh, the load of uh, his work to find uh, some woods outside of uh, the house. And one very important partner in this initiative has been the Norwegian Embassy because the Norwegian Embassy is providing funding uh, both for the ADB, the Asian Development Bank, but also for HIVOS to push this initiative further uh, ahead. Uh, and they have also been uh, quite uh, actively uh, following the process, seeing what's happening with the different stakeholders. Uh, and that was really uh, an important uh, help. And we hope to continue working with the Norwegian Embassy uh, to make this uh, Sumba Island really uh, an example of uh, renewable energy and. Uh, and a source of uh, energy for uh, economic development for the people living on Sumba. Yeah, and I'm, I'm very happy to be here in Sumba, finally, to visit the Sumba iconic island um, where Norway for two years now have supported uh, a project to provide electricity to all the 650,000 inhabitants. Uh, and all with renewable energy. That is the goal. Uh, we're working through HIVOS uh, and also ADB. Um, and uh, on this visit, I'm here with HIVOS and, and seeing the projects that uh, Norway has supported through them. Um, and I'm particularly happy to be here and, and seeing these, uh, these fields. Um, just in front of me now, there's a water reservoir um, water being pumped up with a, a solar panel and then going down this channel that's behind me and, and irrigating the, the fields, um, which means that the farmers can get uh, many more crops than they used to and uh, also uh, different types of crops uh, that can give them a greater cash income and, and thereby developing their communities, allowing family, uh, children to go to school and so on. Um, it's a big difference from a, a place that we visited yesterday, actually, where they're going to make the same system, but, uh, but where people are still um, growing one crop of, of corn per year. But that's only really enough to, uh, to keep their families and themselves alive. So there's no spare money for, for any investments they would like to do, uh, and especially then to, to let their children go to school. And that's one of the things that they told us when we asked them, what do you want to do if you manage to get some extra income from this? We want to send our children to school, was the message. 
Um, so it, it's, uh, it's, I'm very happy that Norway can, uh, can help uh, in, in achieving this goal for, for the families. My name is Ari Lagur. I'm here for staff for Sumba Iconic Island program. Now I'm here in uh, SD Parallel Kadekap to monitor the electricity we support from uh, HEFOS and uh, Norway Embassy to power it their equipment. Before they have electricity supported by HEFOS and use this school electrification, this computer or the electronics never use. Now the system, PV electricity already operate. Dulu ada generator sumbangan dari SOS dan diperuntukkan sesewaktu digunakan. Before they have access energy from uh, solar PV electrification, they use uh, diesel generator and to power it, the diesel generator they have to buy fuel and according to the headmaster for operate the diesel generator is not uh, regularly but only temporary mostly they use for keyboard and the other is uh, wireless for sound systems and also for a computer sebelum ada listrik kami menggunakan karena dari they also set up the scheme for uh, maintenance the system. They collect money from the cell phone charging, 2,000 per charging. So they have already collecting money within two weeks, already 20,000. Dengan adanya listrik ini. The teachers also lack of knowledge. Even they have the technology like computer and also the keyboard for the music, they cannot operate. Now they also want to uh, learn more how to operate the system. After that, they also hope that they can flow the, the knowledge to the students. Thank you for the kind support from the donors. Besides they use the electricity for the electronics, they also use the electricity for the light. The teachers able to provide the material for kids. So in the night they use the light to prepare the material and tomorrow they able to explain to the, the student. So means that through this support, the quality for the school or school hopefully will increase. Thank you. Yeah, we're already seeing quite some change at Sumba now. For example, when you were driving at night uh, over Sumba some years ago, you saw no lights because there was no electricity to uh, light up the, the villages and the, the huts of the people. But now there has been these small solar panels which the people use to have one or two or three lamps. So they can even uh, use the lamp in the evening for cooking, for studying. So that's already a big change in my view. But what we also expect in the coming years is that there will be more uh, use of renewable energy, for example for irrigation, so people can grow crops in the dry season by pumping water with a solar panel. Uh, what we also see is the people using biogas more and more, and biogas is made out of uh, dung, uh, and it produces gas where you can cook, so you don't need uh, firewood. But it also produces uh, a very good fertilizer, so it really helps the crops to grow. 
and that will also help again the economic development of the island. And finally what we expect is that the whole energy system will change because now there is a lot of import of diesel still and the diesel powers the diesel generators to produce electricity uh, and that's first of all very expensive and it's uh, difficult to bring it here it's sometimes also in shortage so there is no power uh, for the villages um, and we expect that to change to big wind turbines to more micro hydros and hydro installations that really will power the whole system with more power more reliable power and also uh, a more clean system that will uh, be ready for the future. So in that sense we hope that the future of Sumba will be really different and help the economic uh, uh, step up of uh, this uh, so far very rich and nice island but very poor economically uh, uh, due to uh, economic circumstances. And, e and energy is very important to change that.